Right. How y'all doing? Okay, just a quick note before I forget. Right, I've had a really weird start to my day, don't ask. <laughs> but I'm now about to go and do some stuff, right? And I've just noticed something. If anyone has left a comment on this channel in prior history, and I haven't at least given you a thumbs up or a, hey, uh, this could be a thing. So there's a filter in uh, YouTube comments by default that says, so say so comments published, um, and then it'll automatically come up with a filter, I haven't responded. And from time to time, I get like a notification to say, hey yo, you've got like two comments or whatever, or three comments. And then I'll look on the comment section and it will just have a comment. Like I won't have had, or, or like I won't have had a notification for all of the comments. I'll just come up with a number and then you click it and there's nothing there. Okay, and then you go to the, the comments or whatever and it will say like, oh hey, there's comments on the video. I can't remember exactly how it works because my brain, I'm, I'm running on fizz <laughs> right now. Fizz and a, an empty cup of tea. But, right now, just a case in point, channels, comments, and mentions. Comments, published, stuff I haven't responded to is the filter, I haven't responded to this stuff because I've only just realized I've had it, which is why I'm putting it here, because it's not the first time it's happened and it's making my hair fall out. <laughs> so, right, just a, uh, I had a feeling. Not that anyone gives a shit. Ow. <laughs> and uh, if anyone has a go at me for the one winged angel stuff, don't look at my porn hub. Right. <clears throat> okay. So, um, Jet left a comment. Where's it gone? There. Jet left a comment the other day um, about stress and all that. And that was on my uh, the breakdown of a, of a daily vlogger video, right? And then I got another notification saying that I've had another comment. But it's not here. It's not here. And I was like, I haven't responded to any of my comments yet because I'm, I'm a rude asshole, right? So if I click that, there you go. Um, Pixel, this is like the second time I think this has happened to you. Um, but it seems like it's happening to other people too. So I'm gonna now, I'm gonna have to scroll down my comments so I like pixels so I can comment because they're big, right? Um, I'm going to have to scroll down and... Uh, oh, shit. Uh, I haven't replied in full. No, I haven't. Apologies. I'll get to that. I do have... Oh, I don't know if I mentioned it. I haven't mentioned it in these vlogs before. If I have, I don't remember. I've got brain damage, so I don't remember very well. But um, See, so, look. I've replied. Or... Uh, I haven't replied to that one. Look, I've replied. <coughs> so I'm going to have to go the through. And, uh, hmm. So now I know that's a thing, I'm going to be able to, you know, a little wee bit more, um, on these. Wow, I missed a pretty brutal one from fucking All Hands on Steam Deck. Oh, shit. Like this is uh, this is not an ideal bug uh, to have when if I like to make sure that comments I don't like ignoring comments especially if people are asking questions you know what I'm saying um, oh shit but here's, look just as a quick note so here's the trick I don't, let me let me just check to make sure where's pixels coming from there. Right. Uh, so if I hit comments again, just click comments. That does nothing. That's good to know. Right, click analytics, then click comments again. Okay, and that doesn't reapply the filter. All right. So if I then go to shit, my upload in a video. Ooh, I think I'm off. I think I might just cancel my upload. Uh, hang on. So if I do, just go to YouTube again, and then I'll manually go back to the comments section. Do -do. Uh, YouTube Studio, is that the one I'm after? YouTube Studio, click the YouTube Studio link, click comments. Yeah, and it automatically applies the filter of comments I haven't responded to. See? 
So, um, the comments I haven't responded to, and Pixel isn't there again, so... What's going on there? <laughs> the comments are being filtered? For what reason? Like, I purposely make sure I, I click on it as well to say, like, allow all comments. So nothing ever goes into, um, held for review. Nothing. Because that annoys me. Just give me all the comments. Give me all the... All... Right. So, sorry, I will get back to you all. Okay? I'll start scrolling down the comments and... Yeah. Now look, I don't mean to seem a dick to YouTube and their coders and all that kind of stuff, their gurus behind the scenes, but I always thought comments would have been a really, really, really important feature to get right. I know that a lot of bigger people on YouTube don't give a toss about comments or they just get too many for them to be important, but I always thought the, the comments, are they not part of like the algorithm for engagement and stuff or is that just watch time? Because if you're going to make it so that people can't actually interact with one another on the platform, you've only got two jobs really. Video delivery and, and well, interaction, curation and whatever. But that interaction's really important to a lot of people. A lot of people, so you'd want to get it right. Some people actually get attached to content creators through interactions in comments and stuff. Bit weird, but they do. So, I mean, as an example, my mate the Walt, and I'm kind of the same, right? But my mate the Walt, if he gets a million views on a video, he doesn't. But if he did, but he got no comments, he'd be really bummed out. Like, completely. He'd just be so depressed about it. But if he got 50 views, 5 comments, happy as a pig in shit. Because he wants that interaction, you know? He wants that engagement. He wants people to be engaged in the video, and he would like to be able to engage with the things that share the passion of the things that he likes too, so... <laughs> Don't be hiding comments! Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and stream me some Final Fantasy VII Remake. But that just seems really, really, really stupid to me. If it's going to be difficult to interact with people on YouTube, what's the point? Next they'll make it so you only count one in five subscriptions. <laughs> Dinner's fantastic. No. Flavour that flavour. Five notification. To goody, because I know exactly, roughly, what I'm going to be able to do. The only thing that I had planned for today. So, um, well, other than live stream Final Fantasy VII, but that was really fun. I got to wear a dress. Once upon a time, I could have probably pulled off a dress, but not now. Sadly, I've lost my locks and. My face is a little fuzzy, but... Anyway, the delivery. Out for delivery. Estimated... What? Five to... What? Hang on, that was sooner than before. Oh, they're doing it. They're doing it again. I don't like it. They're out for delivery between five and seven. So I'll see all you between five and seven. And hopefully they actually send it to me because... Um, <laughs> my folks ordered two of these recent and they got cancelled. They just, Amazon was like, no, but something has happened during delivery, it's gone. Don't you dare, Amazon. Between five and seven, I expect my drive to be here so I can repair my laptop. So, prep work, and then I'll be the back. So the package arrived. I didn't have uh, a huge amount of hope, if I had to be completely honest with you. I thought that uh, Amazon was going to just keep on putting it back and putting it back and putting it back, and then it wasn't going to arrive. That's happened before. But, I have a confession to make. I fucked it. The drive? No. No. <laughs> Worse than that. The laptop. My, uh, my Zephyrus G14. I've killed it. I'm going to be honest with you. I've had a little bit of a whimper about it. Because it's not a cheap 
laptop. And it's not like I'm new to doing laptop repairs. I've done many <laughs> over the years. Uh, fan replacements, processor replacements, um, screen replacements, drive replacements, RAM replacements. Pretty much anything you can replace on a laptop, I've done. All right, so I've done I've done plenty, and I've had I've done stuff to this laptop before, too. But in going to put the new drive in, I went to disconnect the battery, and the battery has a small metal clip on it, and I went to pop it off with a guitar pick. Just pop it back, just pop it back so you can disconnect the battery. And my gods, the, uh, the the pin, the metal pin, just came straight out, unseated, because it's just there's just two two there's a plastic mounting point for the power supply, and then there's two metal pins that slide into holes in the metal uh, into the into the um, Two metal pins that slide into the plastic connector to lock the power supply, uh, the the battery connector to the board. So it just clips over the top. Just push in, clip over the top. Yeah. It's not a standard kind of like you flick it and it just kind of lifts up. This is a thing that slides backwards. And so I flick it, just go flick with the guitar pick, and it just goes ping, and it flies out flies out of the little <laughs> holes that it's supposed to stay in and it lands on the board. The small cluster of chips I, I pointed out. And there was a it arc, there was a spark. And my heart sank. <laughs> But we uh, proceeded with it anyway. Put the new drive in. Put the clip back in. Put the battery back in. I was worried I might have broken the the uh, battery terminal for power. Plugged it back in. I screwed it all back together. Plugged it in. Nothing. Stone dead. It is uh, shorted. This is a just shy two grand brick <laughs> right now. As I just say, I've, I had a bit of a whimper. Uh, I'm fucking miserable. That can happen to anyone, but uh, that one has that one has made me miserable. I can't lie, it's, it's embarrassing. It's very very embarrassing to know that I've. I mean, hang on. I've pulled this thing apart several times. And even uh, <laughs> the uh, BIOS was locked. And that had to be modded to allow us to get into the BIOS. Did that. No problem. <laughs> loads of updates on it, loads of upgrades on it. Um, but apparently with a Zephyrus G14, I can't bit. Now, frankly, I, I would like to know why there was a, a a dislodgeable, removable metal pin right on top of those chips. Right on top of that section of the board. Right where the battery is. Because it's not like you could just... Because usually, you know, you, you disconnect the battery, you know, press the power button, make sure there's nothing going through the board, then work. Yeah? In this case, the damage was done just to disconnecting the battery. I know that a lot of people would do that with, say, a pair of tweezers or a screwdriver or something that just accidentally bridged something on the board. But um, I managed to bridge it with a piece of the computer <laughs> itself. <laughs> um... And I don't know anyone that can do that level of board repair. I certainly can't. My hands, the dexterity, just isn't where it used to be. Um, I 
Don't have insurance on it. It's over a over a year old at this point. <laughs> if only I was one of those geezers that didn't disconnect the battery when working on this stuff. Like, oh, yeah, we'll just disconnect the RAM, but the battery's still hooked up. Yeah, just go do it. Even when I change bits on Belial, power is off. Power supply off. Unplugged. <laughs> I think to myself, I, I've got loads of mates who would have just literally put the put the M2 in without disconnecting the battery, and they'd have been fine. But had I have just done that, I'd have probably, I'd have probably, it'd have been fine. I'd have probably been fine. But because I thought I'd, oh yeah, I'll just disconnect the battery. Well, I say, I, I don't, I don't know anyone that could do the repair. Um, and chances are, no, my luck, it'll be expensive. I am just not very lucky. At all. Uh, I just said that probably the worst part about it is um, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing, and I, I quite like this laptop. I really enjoy using it. Um, it's one of my favourites, and I'm pretty thankful for having it. Thankful to have been able to have it. Um, I've always had an issue with the power circuitry with it. <laughs> <laughs> not fond of that part of it, but um, it's a no it was, it is was a nice laptop, but all because that metal pin just went ping out of the out of the connector and just landed on the board. Um, why it wasn't a latchable dealio, where you just I don't know you just kind of like what you get with ZIF connectors and you just kind of look and pop it up and then pop it down. But instead, this was a, a push back, and it'll look. It would just unhook and go backwards a bit, and then you just kind of push it back over. It came straight the fuck out. I did not expect that to go <laughs> like that. I, I, I'd never, i never, I've never seen that before. Um. So that's uh, that has hit my confidence quite a bit. <laughs> uh, I've had a miserable fucking day. Absolutely miserable day. I ain't gonna lie. I, I hurt my back this afternoon. Uh, joys are getting old. And, uh, yeah, I've been apologizing. I've just been incredibly apologetic to people this afternoon. Just look, apologizing. It's like, I broke it. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You know, it can happen to anyone, but I'm still saying I'm sorry. But now I don't know what I'll, now I don't know what I'm gonna do. I really don't know what I'm gonna do. Look for a repair, put it in storage, and then look for a repair company. Hope they don't charge me several hundred quid because it's not money I can afford to spend. Um, if so, if they if they were to say, oh yeah, it'll cost you like hundred and fifty quid, two hundred quid, I'd I'd take that for the value of the laptop, but. Much more than that, and uh, I don't know. So yeah, just just uh, if you're gonna do repairs on your own computers, be careful. Touching components is uh, a pretty big deal. Um, even if completely by accident, it only takes one time, and it's done. Even if you've done it a million times before. One cock up and it's done, and and that's that's what's happened to me. That is what has happened to me. I'm gonna head off. I think I'm gonna go and uh, try and <laughs> lay down because every time I cough, pain in my back is ridiculous. In fairness, when I was working on the laptop, it's absolute agony, absolute agony. Which probably didn't help my mood any when I saw the spark. <sighs> Simple fucking hard drive replacement and I cocked it. But I want to be honest, admit it. I am not looking forward to doing the boys' laptops um, update soon. Although in fairness, um, theirs are easier to do than mine. There's a bit more room to move and... The connectors aren't as weird. So, I 
hope you're well. Wish me luck. Find someone that can uh, do the repair. And I'll see you all with a bit of luck in the next one.